Listen, we all love Disney and Pixar. They've probably made more classic films than any other studio. We grew up loving the work they did, like virtually everyone alive. But that doesn't mean they get everything perfect. Every once in a while, they make a film with a plot hole so big it could ruin your enjoyment of the movie, if the movie wasn't so darn good otherwise. Nevertheless, we're going to point out a few of the mistakes to see if you recognize them. Here are 10 Disney plot holes that everyone ignores. Remember, if you want to see more lists like this, subscribe to our channel and make sure to join our notification squad. And before we start, can you guess this movie from these emojis? Stay tuned for the answer at the end of our video. Scary feet, scary feet, scary feet! Oh, the kids away! Monsters University. Monsters University takes the characters that we know and love from Monsters, Inc. and reveals how they first met, at the Uzma Kappa fraternity of Monsters University. At least, that's what this prequel would have you believe. But in the original film, Mike Wazowski tells Sully, You've been jealous of my good looks since the fourth grade, pal. <laughs> Apparently, Pixar tried to workshop a version of the script in which these two characters met in fourth grade and then reconnected in college, but it just didn't work. So you're just gonna have to put up with the inconsistency. Sorry. Hey, Ham! Look, I'm Picasso! Yeah, I don't get it. Toy Story. Part of the plot of Toy Story is that all of the toys know that they're toys, which is why they all freeze in their place when humans come around them. This rule is complicated when Buzz Lightyear arrives fresh from the toy store and doesn't seem to realize that he's not actually a space ranger, as his packaging would suggest. And yet, when Andy or his mother enters the room, Buzz still freezes in place. What do you think? Should Buzz still be flying around in the presence of humans? How do toys actually learn that they're toys in the first place? The Little Mermaid in The Little Mermaid, Ariel makes a deal with the evil sea witch Ursula to go gain human legs and try to win the kiss of her true love, Prince Eric. The catch is that she must trade her beautiful voice for her new set of legs, so when she arrives on land, she's unable to tell Eric who she is. But we already saw Ariel read and sign the contract laid out for her by Ursula. She lost the use of her voice, not her hands, so why can't she just write down her feelings for Eric? We will be sending a real dragon to retrieve Mulan. Dragon. Mulan. At the beginning of this Disney classic, Mulan disguises herself as a man and joins the army to save her elderly father from being drafted. But it doesn't seem all that simple. Mulan is almost sent home after failing to meet the physical requirements of her captain, Li Shang but she perseveres and gets to go to war with the boys. The only problem is, if the young Mulan almost failed to meet the physical requirements of these soldiers, then her feeble elderly father almost certainly wouldn't have made it. So why did she even bother to sign up? Genie of the Lamp! Aladdin. In Aladdin, the villain Jafar wants to get a hold of the genie in order to become the Sultan himself. He claims that the genie's magic is much more powerful than his, and that's why it would be necessary to wish his way to the top. But Jafar's magic already seems pretty powerful to us. He even uses his weird, serpenty staff to transform Aladdin back into a peasant after the genie turns him into a prince. It seems to us like it wouldn't have taken much more magic than that to work his way to the top. Would the genie really have made things that much better for him? So this is love. Cinderella. We all know how Cinderella ends. After midnight, Cinderella and her magic pumpkin carriage are transformed back to their original states, after she flees from the ball in terror of being found out for who she really is. But the prince, upon finding a lost glass slipper at the ball, searches the land for the woman whose foot will fit inside. But why didn't the slipper also disappear at midnight? What do you think? Is there a better explanation for how this fairy tale ends? Sorry, boys. I don't sing. Tangled. For most of Tangled, our long-haired heroine Rapunzel is as blonde as can be, though the hair turns brown whenever it's cut off from her head. Presumably, this has something to do with the hair's magical healing properties. However, at the end of the film, Eugene slices off all of her hair in order to prevent her from being kidnapped by the evil Gothel. This time, all of her hair turns brown, including the hair that's still attached to her head. How did this happen? She got a haircut, not a dye job. What is dinner without a little music? Music? Beauty and the Beast. 
According to the lore of Beauty and the Beast, the prince was cursed at the age of 11 when he was still a boy. Yet when Belle is exploring the house, she discovers a portrait of the prince as a handsome human man, torn to shreds by the bitter beast. But how did this portrait get made if he was transformed into a beast at the age of 11? It is possible that it's a Dorian Gray type painting, showing the beast how he would look if he weren't trapped in the body of a beast. But that should have been explained if it were the case. Please, just stay away from me. Stay away! <laughs> Frozen. When Elsa's powers are revealed in Frozen, the whole town is horrified, thinking that their queen is some kind of monster. This causes Elsa to flee to her ice castle in the mountains, where Anna must come to find her. But after the sisters defeat the evil Hans, the town cheers for her. Why? She's done nothing to change their minds about her powers. They didn't even know that Hans was plotting against Anna and Elsa from the beginning. What do you think? Did the townsfolk have ample reason to rally around their queen in the end? The Incredibles The villain in The Incredibles, Syndrome, has video cameras installed all over his island. He also has a bunch of henchmen who have been fighting with the Incredibles, and so they should have been familiar with their powers. They should have known, for example, that Violet would have been able to use her force field to interfere with the electronic devices used to hold down the Incredibles while they're imprisoned on his island. And yeah, well, that's exactly what she does. That's all for this list, but be sure to subscribe to the Screen Rant channel and sign up for the Notification Squad. Thanks for watching.